Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dave Klein, aka Dave Control, and I'm here to show you the first 20 minutes of the Elden Ring DLC. So, first things first, we are going to be starting here at the Cocoon of the Empyrean, and we're going to talk to... Leda. What's up? Ah. Were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you, I was guided by Faith along his honorable path. Touch the withered arm. And you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Come now, touch the withered arm and travel to the realm of shadow. I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Okay, Leta, that sounds great. Let's touch the withered arm of Mikola and head to the Realm of Shadow. So I'm not going to talk too much lore stuff um, just because I don't want to spoil anything. So we're going to kind of go beat by beat. It's going to be the first 20 minutes. And here we are, the Realm of Shadow. Uh, you'll know this right away. You can still call Torrent, our trusty steed. I'll turn the HUD back on for this. And we're going to head out, and here we are, to the Realm of Shadow, that great, similar Breath of the Wild moment. Uh, you can see the Skadu tree up ahead, that's what the name of this tree is. You find that out right away, don't worry, that's not a spoiler, and many, many places to go to. So, this DLC is extremely dense. We're at the Gravesite Plain, uh, and I believe if we rest here, we're going to find out something right away at the Gravesite Plain Site of Grace. So, let's see. And yeah, so right here you see a new option there, the Shadow Realm Blessing. And you get Scattered Tree Blessings and Revered Spirit Ash Blessings. So, as it says there, the Scattered Tree Blessing bolsters the recipient's ability to deal and negate damage, but it has no influence outside the Realm of Shadow. So this is essentially your level in the DLC. And you have the Revered Spirit Ash Blessing, which is the same thing but for Spirit Ashes. Now, your levels do still affect things like your Strength Stats, your Vigor. I'm not sure exactly what the balance is between all that, but you have essentially an, an additional level here. So, that's new. So, something we're going to do right from the get-go. Uh, you can see in the distance there a Furnace Golem. So, we'll go ahead and visit that Furnace Golem since I've got 20 minutes with you guys. But first of all, I think what I'm going to do is head south here because there is a lot to explore. This DLC is extremely, extremely dense. I brought... But uh, instead, we're going to head south and we'll, we'll head to that furnace column. We'll, we'll get that map fragment, which I think, yeah, you can see that it's right there. Uh, and you can kind of see from there how incredibly dense the map is. Um, okay, this is another night of Mesmer at the Church of Consolation, and we're going to get something really important right here, which is why I want to go here first. Alright, so, a Scattered Tree Blessing. Our first one is right here, our first Scattered Tree Fragment. So definitely head this way if you're starting off. I'm giving some free advice right here, too. Uh, over this way in this cave, we're also going to get an interesting item, which we're going to take a look at. We will find a Blessing of America. So, this is new. Completely restores all HP uh, and heals all ailments. A special physic or physique blessed by America, the Queen of the Erd Tree. Created by America for Mesmer's sake. She never made a second. Pretty interesting there. Let's also look at the um, 
Scattered Tree Fragment. Uh, it is said that when the Scattered Tree crumbles from its core, that it will scatter across the entire Realm of Shadow. The people of the Earth Tree collect the splinters and use them in prayer. Uh, acquired at the Church of America and other places in the Realm of Shadow. So, oh, something important I want to note about the Blessing America, because I tested it, is says there's only one, right? She never made a second. So it looks just like the Flask of Wondrous Physic, but if you use it, it will immediately, uh, it will, it's a one-time use. So do not use it unless you really want to use it. Just don't. I haven't found another use case for it by the way. I haven't found an NPC to give it to or anything, but I just want to point that out. All right, so we're going to use a Scattered Tree Blessing right here. Uh, second one, now we need two, so we can't use another one. All right, let's go ahead and check out what this is right here, right in front of us, now that um, I don't have my map. And we'll get our first map fragment, too. Gravesite plane map. Sick. Let's go ahead and look at our gravesite plane map and see what it's got to say. A somber plane covered in spirit graves. The spiral tower of the Horn Scent lies to the northwest, and the entire expanse is marred by the harrowing ravages of war. Hefty Crackpot is also new. There are tons and tons of new items in the DLC, and an unbelievable amount of new weapons, new spells, all that, and some very, very, very challenging bosses. Uh, two in particular, one especially in particular. Uh, right away, though, something cool that you're not you might notice is just to, uh, right away, just cool design with how to explore areas and all that, right? So, just immediately off the bat, Miyazaki right up to his amazingness in level design. But the crazy thing is, the design of this, the Shadow Realms is just so insane and dense and vertical. All right, Blade of Mercy, cool. So, let's take a look at. Um, I wanted to show off that one rune, right? So, the scattered tree is the shadow of the earth tree. No wonder grace shines ever so brilliantly. All right, it wasn't as interesting as I thought it would be. Um, a new talisman, but it does give us the name scattered tree again, so. Hornstead employed this to honorably end the suffering of a compatriot. After claiming numerous lives, the dagger is now broken, but is required a spectral aura. A thin bloodstained dagger. It raises attack power after each critical hit. There you go. And yet another item over here that we can leap to. I don't know if everything's super dark because of that fire golem. Oh, here we go. Now we got the map. First map fragment. So, <laughs> there's a lot. This one piece is this, and it is... Trust me, there is a lot just in with this one map piece. So we're at the Scorch Ruins. We're going to head north. We're going to go to uh, that Furnace Golem in front of us and deal with that.
main thing is just jump when you see this, and it might not seem like you're dealing too much damage to them because you aren't, but when you get the critical attack on it, you just obliterate them. You just have to pull off two of those, essentially. So really, we're just going to be looking for steps and not get stepped on. Alright, yeah, so, pretty simple, just don't make my little mistakes. Do as I say, not as I do. What the f- Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Great. Well, I've actually never had that happen before, so I guess I'll just have to take him out this way. Would've been nice to get the big attack on him, but that works too. Deflecting hard tier and furnace visage. So, I don't actually don't know what to do with the furnace visages yet. But the deflecting hard tier, I'll show you guys that you do. This is how you get new tiers, essentially, for your uh, crimson flask. So, damage negation and guard poise will be heightened in the stances moment. It, uh, immediately after assuming a guarding stance. So, crystal tier forms slowly over the ages, where the scattered sap of the scattered tree pulls deep within the furnace golems. Successfully executing a spontaneous guard will also strengthen the guard counters. So over to the left uh, is a mausoleum with a little mini type of boss in it. But more interesting stuff is over to the left, so I'm going to head that way real fast. There's also a couple NPCs right here. Uh, Nicola Cross, which is going to get us uh, potentially another scattered tree fragment. Usually there's scattered tree fragments. Carved words coalesce, I abandon here the first of the flesh of my body. And what is that? Why, a scattered tree fragment. And also, Imperium Blood Burgeon. So really, it's probably the Imperium Blood Burgeon, but you always get a scattered tree fragment right there. And a couple NPCs, who I'm not going to talk to right now. I'm just going to move on. There we go. Got our scattered tree blessing too. We're level two. We're ready to just rock everything up. Right? Right. So, wait a second. I just realized.
All right, so castle to the left, but we're going to show off yet another alternate path just to show again how much there is here. So I could go that way, but I could also head this direction. find yet another site of grace. Just gonna rest there just to get those guys off my butt. Cliff Road Terminus. So now, we are essentially on top of this area right there, right? So, if you're wondering how to get one direction above, now that's one of the easier ones to find. Trust me, there are... Some very, very challenging areas to find in this DLC. I mean, I would straight up say that finding one of the map fragments feels like a secret because of how challenging it is to find. You're also going to find smithing stones everywhere, by the way. So, um, tons of different stones everywhere. So, if there are new weapons that you want to get, you're going to find those. You're also going to find larval tears everywhere. The game is not at all shy about giving you larval tears. Uh, another scattered tree fragment, and yet another site of grace. So here we get to our first legacy dungeon of the DLC. And here we're actually going to get... Why? Get out of here. Get out of here. I got to show off this revered spirit ash. First revered spirit ash. So pretty much, I think every revered spirit ash you're going to find at a statue like this. So you're aware. Whereas the scattered tree fragments, you find um, some enemies who have pots drop them. Sometimes you find them at like little church areas like I was at where there is like a America statue. You're going to find them all over the place. So those ones are going to be a little different. Now I actually never checked to see if there was an illusory wall there. There are a few illusory walls in the DLC, so... Definitely be on the lookout for those if you're going to be playing without looking at any guides or if you're playing offline. I've been playing offline. I've just been swinging at every wall and there are many surprises. I'm sure if you play online, you'll be able to read messages for where they're at, but um, offline, not the case, obviously. And as you notice, by the way, there are a lot, a lot of new enemies in this DLC. Alright, Balarut Tower Settlement. This is going to be the first legacy dungeon. So Tam, our reviewer, gave the game a 10 out of 10, the DLC a 10 out of 10. And I'd have to say I agree. <laughs> it is it is ridiculous how much they fit into this. So if you like Elden Ring, you are going to love this. Um, it's just basically more of everything. So thank you so much for joining me for this first 20, 25 minutes. I appreciate it. Have fun with the DLC. Don't let yourself get spoiled too much. I know you're watching this, but really just have a fun time. There, There's so much there. And I'll see you guys for another video. Later, guys. Hey. Peace.